Only a few years ago, no one knew the city of Leipzig for football. Now, they have a first division team in the Champions League. But there's another side to the city's football culture you didn't know about. Me and Brandy are heading off to the Leipzig Derby, fourth division, Luck versus Kemi. Let's do this thing. Good game. Um, scrambled. Oh, this is how you stay woke about these projects, son. Trades, chemical factories. So, football teams in Leipzig. First, you've got the big boys. Red Bull, or Rassenball Leipzig, are the newer club established about nine years ago in the city, who are now in the first division. You've seen them in Champions League, where they've had an incredible rise, but they represent really the modernization of football by branding their club like a Coca can. Kimi Leipzig, fourth division, playing green and white, established by the chemical plant factory of Leipzig during the Soviet era in the DDR. Lokomotiv Leipzig, yellow and blue, they were established by the train workers' companies, much like a Lokomotiv Moscow or a Lokomotiv Plovd, even Bulgaria, built off the legacy of, the, of train companies in, in Soviet times. We're here tomorrow, quick 48 hours, we're going to see the Leipzig Derby. These are two historic clubs of the city, now playing in the fourth division. Now within those clubs, there's kind of a stereotype you can apply to them, but one is a bit more far right and one is a much more far left. Also, shout out to... Red Star Leipzig, their club in the lower divisions here. We're going to meet up with my mate who's one of the supporters. He's housing us for the weekend. Kemi Leipzig, Diablos the Ultras group, another Kemi Leipzig, Ryder Stern. We're in the right part of town. Cheers. I'm here meeting up with Florian, board member. Kemi was founded after the wall, and it was created by the factories. And after that, uh, when the wall falls down, then um, there was created a new team. And then there came, yeah, uh, Mr. Mateschitz and with Red Bull. And the city said, okay, yeah, football, professional football, it's easy to enjoy. We can go to the central stadium and enjoy it like, like this, yeah. Just like to go to the theater. <laughs> I think if you go to um, Chemi Leipzig, it's a bigger decision in your life. Right. To say, okay, I don't want to be here or I don't want to be a part of this easy, easy game or professional football. So you mm. want to be there with friends and a cool culture, a cool, yeah, youth culture. When we talk about Lokomotiv Leipzig, we're talking about a team who, in 1987, was in the European Cup final against Ajax. Yes, uh, we come uh, into a final in Athen, uh, opponent uh, Ajax Amsterdam with uh, Marco van Basten. And we verlieren, uh, uh, genau, 1-0. Uh, Lokomotive wurde damals in der Zeiten schon gefördert, auf jeden Fall, als finanziell. Und uh, Chemie ja. war eine Betriebsfortgemeinschaft. Warum uh, Lok eher tendenziell rechts und Chemie tendenziell links geworden ist? Mhm. Das ist eine gute Frage. Ja. Das ist eine gute Frage. Die Frage ist berechtigt auf jeden Fall. Liegt zum, zum einen liegt es, glaube ich, daran, dass uh, Lokomotive Leipzig. Uh, glaube ich, einfach eine sehr ausgeprägte Hooligan-Szene schon zu DDR-Zeiten hatte, als wenige ja. Vereine. Und äh, die Hooligan-Szene damals auf jeden Fall rechts geprägt war. Tino, it's Derby Day. Yup. Feeling fresh? Oh, feeling fresh as rails, baby. Last night, we got to hang out with the Kenny Leipzig supporters. We get destroyed in darts. It's quite fun. Today it's gonna be an interesting one. Basically, what's going on around us? They've made custom jackets for this game just to walk into this dark. We've got about 600 a lot. And we can't have some supporters waiting to go into this ground. It's gonna be a real the interesting one today. So it shouldn't be too naughty in terms of meeting up with other supporters because it's really, really heavily policed. So at this point we got told to stop filming. So you're gonna see the game in little bits and pieces. This is for two reasons. One, in an ultras group, no one wants an individual representing the entire group mentality. And two, this game's gotten particularly tense over recent years. And Lock Kemi, you can't show anyone's face. We've got police lined up mad. We're walking through forest on forest on forest. Okay. Local fans, paper bombs going off. We just walked into the ground with Kemi Leipzig. The stadium is an old school ground. We've got all the different flags of Lokomotiv Leipzig 
from all the iterations of the club over the years. On the other hand, we've got the Kemi supporters over there with the Tifo ready to go. Second half, nil-nil first half. Not the most exciting match so far, but it should pick up. <laughs> the game is now being paused. And it's back on again. Basically, the supporters are going to hold up play. Stopped twice because players were flying overhead. In the end, now players and supporters are like voting, giving it to each other. You know, it's a club, it's a community, it's recognizing the history, and it's understandable that on a day like today, when big football seems far removed from you with the RB Leipzig world, a game like Kemi and Loco still means everything to local people. 